Hi, my name is Greg Castellan, and I'm here to demo the Boston University uh, Yuma dataset GUI. So what you see before you is the uh, GUI and a window displaying the data that we have captured. Uh, specifically the two areas we were provided with uh, a lot of video to search through. So the idea here is that a user specifies a query, some sort of activity of interest that he wants to find in the data set. So he'll specify it by the attributes of the things he wants to find, be it type of uh, thing, vehicles, dismounts, uh, humans, the size of the thing. In this case, we have large like trucks and regular uh, like cars and uh, color and speed. Those aren't quite as applicable because things tend to be moving in mostly the same speed in this uh, data set, and it's black and white. He can also specify the start frame and end frame that uh, he would like to search through, and the query type and the most maximum number of results. After he does that, he decides uh, whether he'd like to see video or just start at endpoints, and whether they would like to be target highlighting, and uh, executes a query. The first type of query that we'll be demonstrating is called the watchbox query, and that's where a user selects a particular area of interest and says, give me video clips containing these things in this area of interest. So to do that, we'll go to section one and we will select the rectangle tool and we'll draw a watchbox on the street. We'll just look for vehicles of a regular size and we'll limit ourselves to three results. We'd like to see video generated and we will begin a query. You'll notice that this happens uh, relatively quickly, um, but that the video generation, the actual process of compiling the videos is a little bit tedious because the uh, videos themselves are pretty large. So to see the video, just click on the appropriate uh, query result. And what we should see here is a chunk of time where there are a lot of things happening here. And as you can see, there are a bunch of cars moving along and hopefully towards the end of this video, you will see that there's, yep, nothing happening. So we've provided the user with a chunk of video that has the thing he wants in it. However, it's not always necessary to draw a watch box. For instance, if you are in section one, or section two in this case, and you're looking for human beings, then there are really only about two people, so it's not completely necessary to specify where they are. So we can search over that very quickly, and if you look quite carefully, you can see a person is moving down. This is sort of contrast and resolution issues that we uh, are dealing with here. And you can also see a dismount event. Uh, dismounts in this case are defined as a person entering or exiting a car, whether the car drives off, whether they have to walk up to the car, that's the sort of event we're interested in. Again, the uh, number of these is fairly small. And you'll note that generating this video takes a very long time. Uh, we found the event quite quickly, but the fact is the event's about 250 frames long because the person takes quite a long time to start their car. And as such, compiling all these video, all these frames together into video takes a little bit. If this program were serving exclusively as an index, as opposed to a compilation tool as well, uh, that wouldn't be quite as much of a problem. However, it's done, and now we can load it up in MATLAB. Uh, again, takes a little bit. MATLAB's not super thrilled to load all of this up, but you can see uh, there's a guy who's going to go ahead and get into this uh, vehicle here. And for expediency's sake, I'm going to pause the video, skip forward a little bit, and you will see that that car later drives off, finishing our dismount event. So the other type of query that we like to do is called a path query, and that's where a user wants to find a vehicle or person following a specific path. So if we go over to section one, we can find a very particular path, which is somebody who is going to be uh, driving into this parking lot here and doing a loop around the building and then driving out of the parking lot. And you can see there's not a ton of artistry here, I've just done sort of a cruddy alpha. Um, it's a used to find route. I'd like to see the target and generate a video. And in this case, I'm going to limit the number of results to one just so I generate a few less uh, videos. 
and sorry the video isn't done but when it is it loads and you can see green is on when we're tracking it and green is off when we have no idea or lose track and what's cool is that even though we aren't able to track this through this series of start and stop events we are able to find a guy who does a whole loop uh, around the building because of the set of tracklets uh, that we are able to find and the independent motion estimates uh, that we're looking for. Finally, I'd like to show off a uh, combination of the above, which is attributes plus path queries. So we'll go back to section two, and what we're going to do is draw a relatively common user defined route, wherein somebody goes from here all the way down to here and takes a turn into this parking lot. So that's not uncommon. However, by saying we want a large vehicle, we're ideally limiting ourselves to some of the trucks uh, that are pulling in through there. And so, if again, we limit the number of returns we have so as to spare ourselves a video generation, we relatively quickly find a set of uh, turns. and they involve a truck that comes down and quickly pulls in there, pretty much exactly like we'd searched for.